And to be honest, this was our first structure we have ever had on our property when we had our one and a half acres and when we first moved out here. This was it, guys. This is how we started right here, was this playhouse. The more I'm doing things around here, different projects, I'm learning that I need to bring a, a, a tool bag with me pretty much everywhere I go. Because just grabbing one tool and having it with me is not cutting it anymore. I'm finding that I have to do more trips more than usual. All right, first project of the day is putting together this mud kitchen. I first built this mud kitchen six years ago, living in California for our then four-year-old. This playhouse was something that we were not planning on taking with us across the country to our new home. Since we did bring it with us, this playhouse turned into a mud kitchen. This mud kitchen has been a chicken coop, A storage for all of our chicken feed. I have nowhere to put these bags. I do not want them in my truck. I do not want them in my wood shop. We just don't have the space for them. Probably one of the best things that we brought from California was this playhouse. It's a chicken brooder when we're not using it as a playhouse. It's a storage. It's our tiny garden shed. And now it's a mud kitchen again. And over the years, it turned into a huge blessing for our family. Looking back on it, this playhouse has been an unexpected blessing to us when we are just starting out on this homestead journey. Eventually, our farm outgrew this playhouse, but thankfully, our daughter still wants to play in it. Because you never know, this playhouse slash mud kitchen slash chicken coop might turn into something else. All right, first project of the day is done. You happy, Penelope? Yeah. You got your mud kitchen back. Yep. Before we start our day, I opened the chicken's door. I said hi to Bernice. Bernice, good morning. Fuzzy muggins. Good morning, good morning. And this is my 70th time moving this chicken tractor this year. And moving these chickens twice a day. Um, and it's only the beginning, guys. We still have a lot of year to come. Now I have to move the two beefy boys. These guys will be in here for about a day and then I'm gonna move them out again in the morning and just keep moving. I'm always moving animals. Chickens, cows, pigs, everybody. Everybody's moving, no one has a permanent spot. And that's just, they're just working the land. They're spreading their poop everywhere. And then at the end of the year, we're gonna butcher these two. 
Plus we'll have butchered all our meat chickens. We're keeping our two breeders. Hopefully they all have some piglets for us. This is the part of growing food. Thank you guys for commenting on the previous video of what should I do with that salt block. You know, a lot of you guys said just put poke holes in the bottom of this thing, uh, which is great. Other, other people said just put it on the ground and just let it be, which is great. I appreciate all the comments. Probably gonna just poke holes in this thing and then eventually make an, an actual mineral feeder for them and maybe get some loose minerals in there. Um, but I need, you know, it's on a list of things to do. You know, you guys know how it is. I still need to leave a lane so they have access to the minerals and the water. So now I'm just checking to see if the line is correct. You know, it's, it's not off. In this right here, this needs to be on. So yeah, it's touching there. I'm continuing to work on our garden beds so that way hopefully we can plant our garden this week. So with that, I need to split these two by fours right in half. Ripping these two by fours right in half is a good way to save money and to maximize your lumber. This is like an assembly line of raised beds because I need to make about six of these to starting off with. And I'm cutting everything to length and then putting it all together. This part of a project can be kind of boring to be honest, but as you get going, you'll get in a groove and before you know it, you'll be done. Almost done there guys. I have one raised bed there. This is the end. And this, these two are the sides and it's basically a box is what you're building. One, two, and then three, four raised beds. I have enough wood here for two more raised beds. I might just do these two and then I'll finish the rest later. I'll be going to more in depth with these boxes and let you guys know what that is uh, at another video. But um, I'm, I'm trying to do these boxes, uh, you know, low cost but you know everyone knows lumber prices are really high right now but this cedar wood is picket fencing is the dog-eared picket fencing and they're four dollars a piece which is not bad you're not going to get probably not going to find it any much cheaper unless you find it free or you repurpose something i cut off all the dog ears because i just don't like the way they look and I don't want it to look like a picket fence. And then I already got a dump of soil that I just got that we also need to fill these raised beds. Hey, Elvira. No piglets yet. No piglets yet, guys. We're on piglet watch, hopefully. Uh, she was supposed to already be due. Um, pa we're past her due date, supposedly. So maybe we're, maybe she's not due to for another month. I don't know. Uh, we still don't know if she's pregnant. So. So a lot of moving parts going on lately. I've been trying to just go through these raised beds so we can start planting. I mean, that's probably one of the most important things, I think, uh, is, is growing food, right? And this is the growing food part. And also, I guess, and also the building stuff part. This is your friendly reminder to subscribe to our channel, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Sometimes YouTube will unsubscribe you, so if you check make sure you're subscribed and also some people they've been watching me for years and never subscribed they've maybe thought they were subscribed but weren't or just never thought to subscribe so if you're one of those who've been watching us for years <laughs> make sure you're subscribed at least uh, and you new folks thank you for being here thank you for joining us on our new journey here of trying to uh, restore the land on this old horse, horse property. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.